Bacterial, fungal, and viral pathogens can be introduced into a crop on seeds. In most cases, the earlier the pathogen is introduced into the crop, the sooner the disease will develop. One method that can be used to prevent the introduction of pathogens into a crop is seed sanitation or disinfestation. One method that I'm gonna show you today is the hot water treatment. Hot water treatment works best to kill pathogens that are inside or associated with the seed coat, such as those that cause bacterial canker of tomato, black rot of cabbage and other crucifers, and angular leaf spot of cucumbers. Sometimes large vegetable seeds, such as those of cucurbits, can be damaged by the hot water treatment. However, cucumber are usually not affected. You should not hot water to treat seed that is coated or pelleted, such as those shown here. However, you can use fungicide treated seed, but you will need to reapply the fungicide following the hot water treatment. So let's get started. The first thing that you're going to need is a temperature controlled water bath, such as the one shown here. However, two water baths will reduce the chance of error. You also will need a container that you can loosely package your seed in. Cheesecloth, such as this, tied with an elastic works well. Or I found that these tea balls work very well for small amounts of seed. You want to make sure that the seed is loosely packed so that the seed treatment will heat all of the seeds evenly. Seeds that don't get even heated evenly in the center uh, will not have the pathogen eliminated from them. You can also use sieves if you want, but I prefer to use the cheesecloth or the tea balls. The first thing you want to do then is package your seed in your container. Today I'm going to treat hot water, I'm going to hot water treat tomato seed. I'm going to treat about 100 seeds. You should always test 50 to 100 seeds before you treat your entire seed lot. Different seed types require different treatment temperatures. For a list of treatment temperatures, refer to your regional vegetable production guides or this fact sheet. Today I'm going to treat tomato seed so for tomato seed, we first need to pre-warm our seed to 37 degrees Celsius. In fact, all vegetable seeds should first be pre-warmed. The reason for pre-warming is that you don't want to shock the seed with your hot water. So what we're going to do is just immerse the tea ball into the hot water. You want to make sure that it's completely immersed so all of the seed receive the pre-warmed treatment. You also want to make sure that your temperature for both the pre-warming and the treatment is within one degree Celsius. If the water is too cold, you will not kill the pathogens on the seed. If the water is too hot, you can damage the seed. You set your timer for 10 minutes. The pre-warming step for all seed types is 10 minutes. Once the pre-warming step is finished, you want to immediately transfer your seed to the hot water treatment. Again, because I'm treating tomato seed, the treatment is set at 50 degrees Celsius. Completely emerge the seed into the hot water and set your timer for 25 minutes. Following the 25 minute treatment, you, will, you wanna immediately take out your seed and immerse it in cold water for five minutes. This step should not be eliminated because it stops the heating reaction. Alternatively, 
to putting the seed into a cold water bath, you can run it under cold tap water for five minutes. This is when a sieve works well, but you can also just hold your tea ball under the running water. Hot water treatment eliminates bacterial and fungal pathogens that are on or within the seed. However, it will not remove viral pathogens associated with the seed. Prior to cooling your water, one alternative step you can do is suspend your tomato seed in a dilute solution of Clorox bleach for one minute. This solution contains one part Clorox and four parts water. You want to make sure that you're using the regular formulation of Clorox as shown on the label and not the splashless formulation. After one minute, you want to continue to rinse your seed by immersing them in the cold water bath for an additional four to five minutes. Or you can run it under the cold water for four to five minutes. Now our seed are treated. What we do next is we want to dry the tomato seed completely. To do this, you can use drying racks that I'm showing here. I made this one using an embroidery hoop with window screen, and this one is made simply with four pieces of wood and window screen. You want to place the seed in a uniform layer on the screen so that they dry completely. Once they're dried, you can transfer the seed into a paper envelope such as the one shown here. Make sure that you label the envelope with the seed variety and indicate that you hot water treated the seed. This is important because you should never hot water treat seed twice. You can also put the date you treated on the seed and your percent germination rate. You're now ready to plant your tomato seeds. The reason why you want to test 50 to 100 seeds prior to treating your whole seed lot is because old seed or per poor quality seed can be damaged by the hot water treatment. After you've treated your 50 to 100 seeds, plant them as usual and calculate the percent germination. The formula for counting percent germination is also found in your regional vegetable production guides or the fact sheet that was shown earlier. You always want to be within 5% of the germination rate indicated by the seed company.